Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about raising exceptions in Python. So whenever an error occurs in a Python program, the Python interpreter raises an exception or throws an exception. So these are the two technical words which are generally used with exceptions. And when we say an exception is raised, we basically mean that an error has occurred and the Python interpreter will now execute the appropriate exception handler code that is associated with that particular exception. Okay, so raising an exception means executing the code that has been written to handle that exception and uh, jumping to that code will automatically stop the normal execution of the program. So suppose if, uh, if an error occurs, then all the statements immediately following the uh, statement where the error has occurred, the following statements will not be executed and the control of the program will directly be transferred to the error handling code if such a code, if the error handler is present in the Python program, okay? So this is what is meant by raising an exception. So how do you raise an exception in your program? You use the raise keyword or the raise statement for it. So the raise statement consists of the raise keyword. So you write this word raise, then you specify the name of the exception. This can either be a built-in exception or a user-defined exception. So for uh, specifying the name of a built-in exception, you can use any of the built-in exceptions that we have discussed in the previous video. Or if you want to define a new exception, you will have to specify its code separately. So we are not dealing with user-defined exceptions as of now. Here, you write the name of any built-in exception and then you specify the arguments associated with it. So what are the arguments? So whenever an error occurs, you want to tell the user that what caused the error, what was the reason of the exception, uh, the reason why the exception occurred. So this generally, this argument is generally a string that specifies the uh, reason for occurrence of the exception. Okay. So if you, even if you are using a built-in exception name here, you can specify your own string that you want to display to the user. So for example, you have a program which has a statement a equal to 5. The variable a has the value 5 and you write an if statement saying if the value of a is less than 10, then raise the exception named value error and uh, show this particular string to the user. So what will happen whenever this program is executed, since the value of a is less than 10, the if condition becomes true, this particular statement gets executed. And what happens? This raise statement will, uh, will stop the normal execution of the program. That means this statement and the following statements, no following statement will be executed. Rather, the program will show value error, value of A is less than 10. So this particular string will be printed to the user and no following statements will be executed when an exception occurs, okay? So you might think that the second print statement, this print statement is uh, present outside the if uh, loop, but if, if statement and it should be executed, but no, whenever an exception is raised, the direct control of the program gets transferred to the exception handling code. And what is the exception handling code in this case? This particular string that will that has to be displayed to the user is the code, is the exception handler code. Although it is not handling the exception, it is not doing anything to, uh, uh, to rectify this exception, but it is informing the user what caused the exception. And that is all you need to do whenever an error or an exception occurs. But keep in mind, it does not matter whether the exception is occurring within a loop or an if statement or any block. If there is no other uh, uh, exception handling code, the for, if, if, there are the, if there are following statements, then those statements will not be executed. But at the same time, 
there are certain keywords that are present in the python programming language that can be used to ensure that certain statements written after the raise statement might get executed so if you want that uh, even if the error or exception occurs you want this particular statement to be always executed then there are keywords present in the python programming language that we will study in the following videos that will ensure that even when the exception occurs this particular statement gets executed okay so if you have not used any of those keywords then uh, this particular uh, statement the print statement and the last print statement both these statements will not be executed so in the following videos we will study about the different keywords associated with uh, exception handling and exception raising today we studied about the raise keyword in the next video we will study about the assert keyword and the assert statement so stay tuned to our channel let us know how do you find our videos Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.